You look well. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Favor. Basim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. You hold no stock in faith, only in the rational proof. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists, because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest, whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? Preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. What happened in Mercia still puzzles me. Fulkis saw something in Sigurd. A power. A legacy. What is it she wants? Her motives are difficult to fathom, but that can come later. Let's find your brother first. Agreed. If we do this, you'll earn the right to call me friend, ten thousand fold. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Kunibert. Full of pious fire but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Kinnebeth know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace. And never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty. The Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we met, you sound more like your apprentice than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition, but it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important, and I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. 
very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. If you know where Fulke is, do not rattle my bucket. Tell me now and we'll talk terms later. The hot-tempered one stirs up strife, Basim. Will this rebellion Kate Dane do what I ask? Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement. ...but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him. Before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The King's Emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new Elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. you find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenston has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you at Fulkenston. Alfred's emissary spent a few days here. Someone may know where he went. What can I tempt you with? I have. Trying to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the king's business. Oh, bugger off, eh? Or I'll call the guards. I'm sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. How about you help me from the goodness of your heart, and then I'll leave you alone? A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him, see if he knows anything. Where are you going, my sweet lady? You there! You alive! <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plodity plod plod. <gasps> Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. Oh, God's 
truce, fie on you! Oh, what you infernal wakes me? Are you the tail weaver? Gowan the dandelion. For the seeds of my stories flit upon the winds of Wessex. But why, mule, do you kick my noggin? You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale-addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? No one would drown themselves in weeping with one less bard in the world. Tell me what you know. You Danes aren't much for bargaining, are you? He was heading for the white coast to the southeast. Dover Fortress. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. Too much beer piping will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. Cautious around here. God teaches obedience and humility, and yet our absent would defy Alfred. How oh, so? Rich lands in the hands of the church. But the Danes? Do they not nestle at our borders like ash scaled serpents? If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. God, what is it now?
Alfred's chosen elderman is a thing called Tetment. The abbot Kinnebert will want to know. I should meet Bassem and the abbot in Fulkenstein. <laughs>